I'm Sean Wilson, and tonight on the show we're going to talk to Mike Spencer about gaming. Thanks, Sean. I'm here with Michael Spencer. So, Mike, where exactly are we? Well, we are in Azeroth. Where is Azeroth? It's in WoW, World of Warcraft. What is World of Warcraft? It's a computer game designed by Blizzard Entertainment. It's an MMORPG, a massively multiplayer role-playing game. In this game, you can either play a hero from the Alliance or the Horde. At, and their purpose is to defend the nation. At the moment, there is a level cap of 60. And once you get to 60, you can gain better equipment and enter dungeons. What happens in these dungeons? You and your raid encounter various types of monsters, including flaming elementals. story high dragons. You must defeat these in order to progress through the game. What drives you to play this game? I don't really have anything better to do. How many hours do you play every day? I play for at least three hours every day. Would you consider yourself addicted to World of Warcraft? <laughs> yes. Is there any reason you would ever give up? No, not really. Only if I found something better to do. Has this game affected your social life at all? No, not at all. I've got lots of friends. Here comes one now. So who is this? Well, this is me. You? Yeah, this is me in game. Hi, I'm Bubba Fix. I'm a level 60 paladin. Okay, hi Bubba Fix. Just Bubba is fine. You've talked to us about these dungeons. What else is there to do in World of Warcraft? You can also do player versus player combat. That looks rather violent. How do you feel participating in PvP has affected you? Well, I haven't felt the need to go and buy a big axe and chop people up to little bits, have I? I gathered that much. What about your temper? Do you feel that you react differently compared to when you're not playing? Hell yeah, it's changed. Now that he has me, he can vent all his anger towards the Horde. Okay, so we found out this is a good way of relieving stress and frustration. Do you have any commitments outside the game? Yeah, yeah I do. What? You do stuff out of the game? I feel so betrayed. I'm out of here. Honestly, that guy cries so much. And yeah, I do have commitments outside a while. I have a girlfriend and a one-year-old son, a mortgage to pay, food for buy, plus all the pairs of shoes my girlfriend insists she must have. How has World of Warcraft affected a relationship with your girlfriend and son? It hasn't really affected it at all. There's always been a game in my life. I remember my last game, Counter-Strike 1.6. Has your son ever seen you play? Do you think it would have any adverse effects on him? No, not at all. He does sit on my knee though, and bash the keyboard from time to time. What are your opinions about violence because of games? In my personal opinion, I don't see games affecting teens. It's more about their upbringing. People have to understand that games are just games, and parents have the responsibility to not let it get out of control. Not long ago, the makers of Grand Theft Auto were sued by the mother of two children, who got their father's rifles and went outside and started shooting cars. I can see where you're coming from. Thanks Mike for your time and good luck with World of Warcraft. Thanks.